Hello children, welcome to PYQ, J Advanced, another session. A uh, warm welcome to you. Today I am here with uh, a stoichiometric calculation question. Uh, it also belongs to redox, redox stoichiometric calculation question. So let us go through the question now. A sample 5.6 gram containing iron is completely dissolved in cold dilute HCl to prepare a 250 ml of solution. Titration of 25 ml of this solution requires 12.5 ml of 0 0.03 molar KMnO4 solution to reach the end point. The number of moles of ferrous present in 250 ml of this solution is x into 10 to the power minus 2. Consider complete dissolution of ferrous chloride. The amount of iron present in the sample is y percent by weight. Assume KMnO4 reacts only with ferrous in the solution. Use molar mass of iron as 56 gram per mole. The value of x is the value of y is. So it, it was a numerical question. Uh, in um, I remember it as 2020 PYQ, I mean 2020 uh, J advanced paper. So uh, let us try solving it. The sample's mass is 5.6 gram. 5.6 gram is dissolved in HCl to prepare 250 ml solution. So mass of the compound taken is mass of compound in which iron is present. So suppose if, if I say it is W gram, mass of compound taken in which iron is present that is W is equal to 5.6 gram mass of compound in which iron is present 5.6 gram and this with a dilute HCl this is dissolved in dilute HCl so that all the iron present in it got converted into ferrous chloride and the solution's volume is 250 ml. 250 ml. So, how much ever iron is present in W gram of the compound? The whole iron has now become ferrous chloride which is present in 250 milliliter solution. V solution we have mass of co compound in which iron is present we have and from this 250 ml solution 25 ml of the solution in which ferrous is present is titrated against KMnO4 and 12.5 ml of 0 0.03 molar KMnO4 was required for completion of the reaction. So we very well know that it is a redox reaction where ferrous is oxidized by permanganate in acid medium to ferric. So the reaction is ferrous is oxidized by permanganate in acid medium and ferrous gets oxidized to ferric thereby permanganate gets reduced to M. Whenever permanganate acts as an oxidizing agent in acid medium, the reduced product is Mn2 plus, of course, water will be a byproduct here. This is the reaction. And how much to completely react, to completely oxidize all the iron present in 5.6 gram of the organic compound, the requirement of KMnO4 is 12.5 ml 0 0.03 molar KMnO4. Now you are asked to find out how much ferrous is present in 250 ml solution and what is the percentage by mass of iron in the compound. So first let us go to how much ferrous is present in 250 ml solution. So the easiest way is to find the concentration of this ferrous solution. And the easiest way is going by law of chemical equivalence. By law of chemical equivalence, by law of chemical equivalence, 
we can say number of equivalents of ferrous reacted equal number of equivalents of permanganate reacted and number of equivalents can be taken as normality into volume in liter and number of milli equivalents normality into volume in milliliter so here let us take number of milli equivalents of I ferrous reacted equal number of milli equivalents of permanganate so that we can directly do in milliliter so we can say n1 v1 is equal to n2 v2 number of equivalents is given by normality into v in liter or number of milli equivalents if you take normality into milliliter now normality of ferrous is what we have to find out we are going to find out the concentration of ferrous solution so this is unknown to you n1 is normality of ferrous solution v1 25 ml of ferrous salt solution is taken is equal to n2 normality of permanganate what is given here is molarity of permanganate the conversion factor normality of a solution is equal to molarity into n factor so the conversion of molarity no, molarity into normality is normality is equal to molarity into n factor and here the n factor in redox reactions n factor of any species is number of moles of electron transferred per mole of that species so for permanganate it is going from plus 7 state to plus 2 state so per mole of permanganate 5 mole electron transfer so the n factor for permanganate in acid medium is 5 so here the normality of KMnO4 solution can be taken as the molarity given is 0 0.03 molar into n factor is 5 which comes out to be 0.15 normal. So normality of KMnO4 solution 0.15 normal and the volume requirement was 12.5 ml. Since either side we have put in ml, the conversion factor to liter being same, you need not do the conversion here. Directly you can put both volumes in milliliter because their conversion factor is same. So N1 into 25 is 0.15 into 12.5 or normality N1 which is normality of ferrous solution is equal to 0.15 into 12.5 divided by 25 which comes out to be which is equal to normality of ferrous salt solution now is equal to 0 0.075 normal. What do you mean by this 0.075 equivalents of iron ferrous is present in 1000 ml solution. So what is the number of moles of ferrous present in 1000 ml? So again the conversion factor number of moles is equal to number of equivalents Number of moles is equal to number of equivalents by n factor. Number of equivalents 0 0.075 by n factor. Here what is the n factor of ferrous? Ferrous is going from 2 plus 2 ferric state. So 1 electron transfer. So n factor is 1. So here Number of equivalents is equal to number of moles, 0 0.075 moles it is coming to. So number of equivalents equal number of moles. So now you can say 0 0.075 mole is present in 1000 ml solution. 
So how much is present in 250 ml solution? So number of moles of ferrous present in 250 ml solution is what is asked. For which for which number of moles of ferrous present in 250 ml solution so we know number of moles of ferrous in 250 ml is we know 0 0.075 mole is present in 1000 ml so how much in 250 ml so that comes out to be 0 0.075 divided by 4 which is 0 0.0 1 8 5 mole ferrous is present in 250 ml solution so the first part of the question the value of x is number of moles of ferrous in the solution is x into 10 to the power minus 2 so this may be written as 1.85 into 10 to the power minus 2 mole. The question is what is x? So x is equal to 1.85. This is the answer. First part x. Now the second part is what is the percentage by mass of iron present in original compound? So we know percentage by mass of element can be calculated using mass of that element total mass of that element by mass of compound into 100 now mass of element here mass of ferrous so mass of ferrous is number of moles of ferrous into its atomic mass so we know 1.85 into 10 to the power minus 2 moles is present in 250 ml that much must be present in w gram of the compound so, number of moles is 1.85 into 10 to the power minus 2 into atomic mass 56 divided by mass of element is number of moles of element. Here it is ion ferrous into its atomic mass 56 divided by mass of compound which is 5.6 into 100. So that comes out to be 1.85 into 10 to the power minus 2 into 56 by 5.6 which comes out to be 18.5. You can just do 56 here 5.6 so point 0.1 or this point 0.1 when it goes to the numerator it becomes 1.85 into Let us do it. 5.6. This comes out to be 5000 or 10 to the power minus 200 can be cancelled. This 56 and 5.6. This becomes 0.1. This becomes 18.5% by mass. So your y is 18.5. So x and y are asked. So to begin with, mass of compound is taken, whole ion is present in W gram, from which you converted into ferrous chlorides aqueous solution. So V solution 250 ml and now by law of chemical equivalent from 250 ml, we took 25 ml and titrated against KMnO4. We used law of chemical equivalents, N1, V1 is N2, V2 and through which normality of ferrous solution is found out. So, normality of ferrous into 25 is normality of permanganate into volume. And molarity of permanganate is given. How do you convert molarity into normality? Normality is equal to molarity into N factor. Potassium permanganate's N factor being 5. Normality 0 0.03 into 5.15 normal. We put it here. 
into 12.5 ml permanganate is required from which normality of ferrous is 0.15 into 12.5 by 25 which we got as 0 0.075 normal and this means 0 0.075 equivalence of ferrous present in 1000 ml. So, how many moles present in 1000 ml? Again, go to the conversion factor. Number of moles is number of equivalents by n factor, which is 0 0.075 by 1 ferrous to ferric one electron transfer. N factor is 1. We got it as 0 0.075 mole. Now, we got the answer 0 0.075 mole in 1000 ml. Question is, how much moles ferrous present in 250 ml? So, 0.075 by 1000 into 250, we got it as 0.0185 mole, which may be written as 1.85 into 10 to the power minus 2 mole. It is given x into 10 to the power minus 2. What is x? x is 1.85. The second part of the question, what is the percentage by mass of ion in original compound 5.6 gram? So, for which percentage by mass of an element in a compound is given by the formula mass of element by mass of compound into 100 mass of element is moles of that element into its atomic mass. So, moles we got here 1.85 into 10 to the power minus 2 atomic mass of ion 56 by mass of compound 5.6 into 100 and it came out to be 18.5. So, we have x as 1.85 and y as 18.5. Thank you children.